Just the inevitable boss fight. Uh, I mean... Move him out! That should keep them off our backs for a while. Considering the final enemy we've got, we have to use our rocket launcher extensively. You guys coming? Go on, Barney. They're not after you. Gordon and I will draw their attention while you get the others away from here. We can grab another train once you're clear. Okay, then. Don't take too long about it, yeah? What's the stop them from just collapsing the station on us? Like, I'm not even joking. What is not just stopping them from collapsing the station on us and killing us? We could just leave. Bye, Barney. Good luck. See you when I see ya. That is unfortunately never. Did you just moonwalk? Just like shift. <sighs> you just no mo notice more and more silly things about this as time goes on. See, we don't even have a train to work with. Get a head start on the next train. No time to lose. Time shenanigans are not appreciated here, Mr. Strider. like a sensor that sees through the wall or does it like notice the light or is it just relying on the other combine to tell it where it is tell it where i am it relied on other combine to tell it where it is in life well then i guess you call those combine shrinks look i know i'm tasty but no This is like Gordon Freeman and the unfortunate explosions that occur around him. Gosh. Final rocket, I guess. Yeah, let's try this again. at the last moment. Can you not? his allies, potentially, far more than I ever could. Oh my goodness, stop sending me back here, please. He's already annoying enough to deal with.
promise you, I'm normally not this bad at noticing these types of explosions before they happen. Are you done, Sir Strider? We are almost at the end of this. I just need to climb this ladder. For a minigun, it does not fire a lot of rock. It does not fire a ton of bullets. It's actually kind of pathetic when you think about it. Alex, what did we learn not even an hour ago? <sighs> well, she jinxed it. So, let's just see what happens. I hate that woman Go. so much. We did it, Gordon. Here we go. We did it, Gordon. Oh, and by the way, achievement unlocked. Alex, next time, don't you dare volunteer me for anything. Well, that was a extremely quick Half-Life 2 Episode 1 completed by only firing a single bullet at the one required section in the game. <sighs> you know, I wish I could be angry. And now that I'm older and I look at the story, I realize a lot of the stuff is entirely Alex's fault. Robert Guleman. Huh, interesting. Alrighty then. Let us get a move on. It's not tonight. Episode 2 is a lot longer than Episode 1, and I will definitely say that. In addition, Episode 2 will have to have a different challenge entirely, because Episode 1's challenge... Episode 2, you physically cannot complete the game without firing bullets. The fights are definitely a lot harder in Episode 2, where they tend to swarm you with a lot more people. In addition to this... There are certain enemies where if you choose not to fire bullets against it, you get you end up objectively worse than actually firing bullets. Also, by the way, the one free bullet. 
we are at 100% achievements for episode 1. I'm actually kind of happy. I think this is like one of the first games in a long time I've done 100%. I've been trying to do about the same for Half-Life 2, but I don't want to find all the Lambda caches. That's just kind of painful. Anyway.